Hi there, it's Blair with Wisecraft Handmade and it's Quilting and Answer Thursday. Each week I share video tips to help us all be better quilters. This week I want to talk about t-shirt quilts. And specifically, I want to talk about prepping the t-shirts that you will use in the t-shirt quilt. Now, I have had students more than once say to me, I don't really want to make a lot of quilts, but I want to make a t-shirt quilt. I just want to learn how to make a t-shirt quilt. And the interesting response is that t-shirt quilts are some of the hardest quilts to be made. The reason for that is t-shirt fabric, which is usually jersey, is very stretchy and stretch does not work well in quilt making. There's a lot of seams in quilts, even when you're dealing with large squares and you want all of those seams to line up in certain points. And when you're dealing with a fabric with a lot of stretch, it's probably not going to line up unless you take some precautions. So this video today that I'm gonna share with you is one that I had as part of an online class two, actually three years ago. I went through sort of how I cut a t-shirt up with the intention of using it in quilts and what I do to it to prepare it. I will tell you that prepping t-shirts to use in a t-shirt quilt is a little more time consuming than just cutting up fabric, quilting fabric to use in a quilt. However, if you're willing to um, follow the steps that I give you as far as prepping your fabric, you will have a t-shirt quilt that you can use for many years to come. So to cut up a t-shirt, you need your fabric scissors. And what I do, this is just a cotton, long sleeve t-shirt, pretty simple to cut up. So I start at the seams, at the armhole seams, and I'm just trimming actually through both layers because these scissors are super sharp. But you want to cut off the seam entirely so that it's flat. You don't want any of that seam. Stay close to the seam line. And I also cut off the hem. And then I cut down the arm seam. So you don't have to, you know, be super slow and methodical about how you cut. Just Stay close to the seam line and you'll be fine. So there's your sleeve panel. You're going to do the same thing with the other sleeve panel. And you're left with the body. You're going to cut the, the rib collar off. And I just cut that off at the um, shoulder seam. I just cut the shoulder seam completely away from the body of the shirt and then just keep going right around the collar. And a lot of times people are using baby clothes for quilts and the baby clothes are made from knits so you would do this the same way. You're going to cut across and cut away a lot of the seams. There's just a lot more seams and they're a lot tinier, shorter in baby clothes. But it's it's really the same thing. So you're gonna cut away the collar, cut away the shoulder seams. Here's what you have left. And then your next decision is to get the most fabric, cut away one side seam like this, but maybe don't cut away the second side seam. You can use this in a quilt, quilt square. You can cut into it. 
But one thing that you need to do is you need to, because knits are stretchy, and stretchy stuff does not work well in quilts, is you're going to need to iron fusible interfacing to the back of this fabric. And I will put a link to what I use. It's a lightweight uh, fusible interfacing by Pellon, and I'm just going to show you really quickly how I use it. So you'll need an iron. Here's what it is, or here's what I use. It has a side that has a lot of dots on it. These are glue dots, and it's going to have a smooth side. The glue dots you never want to be um, in contact with your iron. That's bad news. Let's put the wrong side of the fabric up and with your iron, I've got my iron set to cotton, I'm just going to press it out just to get the wrinkles out. And you don't want to get this interfacing on your ironing surface because you're essentially going to iron it down to your ironing surface. So that's not a anything that you want to do. So I cut it a tiny bit smaller, but you want to iron this to these cut panels instead of to your finished cut squares. You want to have this interfacing on the back of the fabric before you cut it into squares. Much, much better to do it that way. Let me just size this up a little bit. And usually, I might use a whole bolt of this when I'm doing a t-shirt quilt. I think that it usually comes in um, 20 yard bolts, but it's kind of narrow. So you definitely, I might use actually more than a bolt, like more like two or three. So now I've got this laid on here. Let me cut this a little bit away. So what you're going to do with no steam, and I'm going to use a cotton setting, is you're going to leave the iron in place for a few seconds, then raise it up, move it. You don't want to iron, you want to press. Just want to make sure it's completely fused to the back of the fabric. So there you go. That is completely fused. You can move this out of the way. And now, if you look at the front, look how nice and smooth that is. So now, there's no stretch. You've taken the stretch out. Now you can cut your squares. Again, because I'm lazy, I'm just going to find myself a straight edge on the cutting mat. And then I've lined the five inch line up here. You don't have to worry about the other ones. It's nice and neat. You've got the interfacing covering the entire back. As always, you can find more tools, patterns, inspiration, online classes, and all kinds of things at my website, wisecrafthandmade.com. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you next week.